I'm Susanna Mendlo. And I'm Devry Lewis. Susanna Mendlo and Devry Lewis form the ensemble named DS Al Cello, through which they offer unique world music performances for two cellos. They fell in love with the Turkish Ladino song, Avre Est Abajur, and made their own variations to it here as arranged for the cello.
I'm Susanna Mendlow. And I'm Debbie Lewis. The name of our duo is DS All Cello, and it's kind of a play on words. I think Debbie, you should explain. <laughs> <laughs> she came up with the name. Um, <laughs> there's a term in music that's DS Al Capo, or go to the sign, that's mm-hmm. basically. Um, and Debbie, Susanna at the cello, so DSL cello. We met, uh, we first met actually at my very first gig in DC. We were playing um, with an ensemble, doing a concert of Bernard Herrmann. And then we kind of didn't see each other for a few years. Um, Then we met another gig for the same group. And um, I was at the time running an organization um, called Cello Speak and I invited her uh, to be on faculty for the summer workshop and we got to know each other a little bit better there and played a bunch of music because I wrote a bunch and do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think that's where we got close. Yeah. That's the cello speak. It's a very special place to meet other cellists. Yeah. As a musician in DC, uh, I really enjoy playing here because there is just such a wide uh, a range of styles. There, it's an international city and there are musicians of uh, all playing all different styles of music and that's actually what brought me and Devery together is that we both love to not just play classical music, we're both into tango, we're both into rock, we really love world music and that's something that uh, we really enjoy playing together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's an opportunity to play for a wide variety of audiences as well um, in venues from embassies, house concerts, we do a lot of, in addition to the great halls like Kennedy Center and those kind of places like that. I have always wanted to live in DC. I'm actually originally from Texas, and I had this idea as even an elementary student that I would one day live in DC. I really liked the monuments for some reason. <laughs> Years later, I had the opportunity to attend um, University of Maryland for their orchestra fellowship program and I chose that school pretty much specifically because it was close to DC and then I was really fortunate to find uh, good freelance work while I was at school and I've been here ever since 11 years. My story is uh, less has less to do with DC. Um, I came here because my fiance at the time is from here and was living here and now we're married <laughs> and I'm still here and I'm Really glad, because it has turned out to be a a wonderful city for musicians. So the name of the piece is Avre Esta Abajur. It is a traditional Sephardic song, um, probably originating in Turkey. Uh, We were asked to play a set of Sephardic songs about a year ago. And uh, for those of you who don't know, um, Sephardic music is Uh, Jewish music that originates from the Mediterranean area. And Abre Esta Abajur is a a, a Ladino song, and it's about a a boy who is in love with this girl, and he goes to her window, and he's begging her, basically she's spurning him, and he's begging for her love, and in, of course, uh, traditional dark humor, he kind of at the end is like, all right, screw you, may you die with no man ever paying attention to you, but still in my arms. So I fell in love with this song. I found it in a, a Ladino of song book. And for most of the songs on this set, we were kind of just taking the melody and improvising around it. But for some reason, I was really drawn to it to kind of turn it into a theme and variations. So the melody that you hear at the beginning of the song is the only original part and then kind of I just started writing and every time I finished a variation the next one came so that's that was that one of my favorite things about living in DC is the audiences that we've already mentioned and also the organizations like emergency that take care of artists in the DC area like we are really lucky to be of this particular project and uh, we're really grateful to other projects that we think we'll be a part of and that's a really great thing about, about DC.
we hope you enjoy the performance tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.